Hello, my name is Eleanor, welcome back to my channel and today I'm doing the fourth video in my Reliving My Teen Vampire Obsession. Um, it's been a while since I've done one of these videos and the book I'm doing today is The Night World Series by L.J. Smith. Um, this is, there's nine books here um, and three bind ups but the book I'm actually reading today is Secret Vampire. So. The Night World series is a strange one and it had a bit of a reputation at the time. Oh my goodness, I don't even know how I'm holding these. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> it had a bit of a reputation at the time it first came out. So this very first book I'm going to read today, Secret Vampire, was published in 1996. So it was actually published the year I was born, which I didn't realise just now until checking this before filming this video, <laughs> which is quite funny. Um, but this edition, this bind up, wasn't published in 2009. So I believe I first started reading this series when I was 13 years old um, and it's a shame my Goodreads doesn't go back that far because I didn't join Goodreads until 2012 so I don't have um, the exact time frame from when I read this series. Now from what I remember of this series, each book is quite short so the first one I'm reading today is 195 pages so they're kind of like novella length um, and that's why they're in these bind ups. Um, it's this world that humans don't know the supernatural exist. So there's there's vampires, there's werewolves or like shapeshifters, um, there's magic people, there's there's ghosts as well, I think, if I'm remembering rightly. There's lots of spirits, there's lots of magic. And interlinking all these supernatural creatures is the fact that soulmates are real and they're a thing and they exist. And as usual with most vampire stories and supernatural stories, they're romance. So every book is following a different main um, female, I believe they're all females. If I'm remembering correctly, it's been a very long time. Um, a different female character who follows, um, follows, who finds her soulmate and enters into the supernatural world and I loved this series, I really really did. I liked the fact that each story was fairly short and concise, but I liked how um, interwoven there was like a subplot of this bigger bigger battle. Um, so there was lots of like, fighting, lots of conflict, lots of really interesting relationships. A lot of the stories are interwoven and they link together and it's um, creating a background of this bigger world, this bigger, bigger thing going on. But the series wouldn't be without its issues um, because there was supposed to be a tenth and final book, I believe called Strange Fate. Let me check. Yeah, called Strange Fate that LJ Smith for a very long time was like, it's coming, it's coming. This tenth book was supposed to be the be all, end all, climactic thing. It was supposed to bring all these story points together, it was supposed to be the big final battle, the big, huge, dramatic, climatic ending. And we never got it because I believe, see I never did any research <laughs> before this video, if I'm reading correctly, I think someone stole a rough draft copy of it or leaked a copy of it in A Strange Fate and it just put LJ Smith off from completing it. So she's always just said it's coming, it's coming. But it's probably has been like, mm, gosh, she's kept it, it's coming. But um, I mean, book 10, Witch Light, was published in 1998. So I think it's safe to say after 22 years, that book is never coming, which is a great pity because I really loved the series and I was a very diehard fan. And I loved it at the time and I never thought it was too dated because obviously it was written in the 90s, you'd expect it to be quite painful. Um, and I'm curious to see how much I feel today, how much it's dated, having it been written in the 90s. Um, but I, I do remember being very upset and very annoyed by the fact that I couldn't finish the series because I, I went into reading it and I bought this three book bind up think, still thinking there was a tenth book coming. And not at that time not having much access to the internet to check and realise that People had already been waiting like 15 years and you know it still wasn't coming um so yeah so uh, this first one i'm reading in um, secret vampire the little i remember of it i think starts off there's a young girl i think she's been given a 
terminal diagnosis, I think, I believe it's some sort of cancer, and her boyfriend is a vampire, and they're soulmates, obviously, <laughs> and yeah, I believe that's that's what happens, and that's the introduction to this, this world, and I don't really remember much beyond that, but as I say, it's 195 pages, so it'll be interesting to, to see how how much has actually happened in that short space of time. But yes, um, come along on this adventure and we'll see if we can remember what happened. That was a really quick read. I couldn't even tell you how long that even took me. Like, like an hour and 20 minutes, I think, to finish reading that. Um, just under 200 pages. I'd forgotten a lot about what this story was. Um, I did remember correctly that the main character, Poppy, was diagnosed with terminal cancer and her friend who then she finds out is her boyfriend and her soulmate um, turns her into a vampire and it's a very short story and it all takes place over a really short period of time but I think it's a really great introduction to this world because you find out that there's vampires and there's werewolves and there's witches you find out that the night world is this kind of hidden undercurrent society and um, they have to keep hidden. It, they're not allowed to tell humans and that obviously well they're forbidden from telling humans and they're actually not supposed to turn humans into vampires either. Um, so James turns Poppy into a vampire and he shouldn't have and it was technically illegal in terms of the night world. Um, so they have to navigate that. But I forgot how Kind of emotional this first one is because obviously Poppy's diagnosed with cancer she's dealing with a lot of feelings of, of dying and things like that and saying goodbye to her family and her life and things and then she has to die as a vampire and she goes she gets buried and stuff like that and I also didn't remember that this book is um, dual perspective so you have some from Poppy's perspective um, and some from James's perspective as well which gives it a more well-rounded feel. Um, and I just really enjoyed this. I thought it was great fun. I actually, I'm quite tempted to keep reading through these stories, but I know I'll be annoyed at the end when I don't have that tenth book <laughs> that's not been written. I enjoyed how the characters were developed. I really felt like you got to know Poppy and her twin brother Philip and the love interest and vampire James. And I just felt like you really got to know and understand how even just a little bit how this society works. You meet Ash's vampire cousin, not Ash, you meet James's vampire cousin Ash who then is trying to like expose them because James turned Poppy into a vampire and she shouldn't um, and she has her first introduction with some other night world creatures and the whole soulmate thing um, is kind of a thought true but people don't really believe it in the night world because it's so rare so a lot of people are quite sceptical about it. So I do remember because this whole series every book has a different soulmate couple in it but it's like you know it's rare to find your soulmate and things like that. Um, but yeah I really I had I really really enjoyed this reread. Um, some of the other reads I've done already like I remembered a lot more about the story than I did about this one but it has brought a lot of things right back to the forefront. And as I said, this book is set in the 90s and everyone's got older cards, they've all got um, uh, CDs and things like that and I don't know if other books will date it further but I don't feel like it was that that dated. Um, I just liked how well the characters were kind of developed for such a short space of time. I really felt like they all had very individual and different voices. A lot of the times were these shorter stories and certainly even for this kind of a book, like this supernatural romance, this vampire story, the characters aren't that well developed but I really liked Poppy as a character and I liked James and I liked Philip and her mum and stepdad. I feel like they all had very different and distinct personalities and voices and I just thought they were really well developed for such a short story. Um, it was great fun and as I've said in other videos of these that I, I like how every author does the vampire and the supernatural 
microbes differently. Um, so in this one they are sensitive to sunlight, they have to feed every day, um, they have a measure of like telepathy and they have the ability to compel people to do what they want and to forget things and things like that. And you know they are stronger and faster and things but in this one I'd forgotten that um, so probably because she's been turned from a human into a vampire she is a vampire but James and his family are Lamia um, he was born vampire so um, his parents had him and he grew up from a small child because him and Poppy went to kindergarten together and they grew up together um, so I'd forgotten and I really like how it's done that there's born vampires so they have families like real families and that's why they're not supposed to turn other vampires because it's supposed to just keep it in the family so I'd forgotten that aspect and they can obviously Lil Amir can choose when they stop aging and things like that so presumably James would stop aging about now to keep on age with Poppy who is stuck eternally at 16 um, so I like that family connection and I, I think it comes up in later books these interwoven like vampire families and things like that they can have their own children and it means they do sleep and they do eat human food but they do have to drink blood because they're a vampire their blood doesn't flow through their body and doesn't sustain them so they have to drink human blood to pass the oxygen through their body and that's why they have to feed every day they have to replenish that blood circulation in their body and i just thought that was a really clever concept a uh, way to have the vampire included in the book like that Finished, finished, finished. So overall, I thoroughly enjoyed rereading um, *The Secret Vampire* by L. G. Smith, and I don't feel like it was too dated. And I think I would really enjoy reading all of these stories again. Although I know there is a couple that I didn't enjoy as well as others, but I really loved this world. Um, this has brought me right back ten years ago when I first read this when I was a teenager, and. I just had so much fun with it. So let me know if you've read Nightworld series by LJ Smith. Um, did you have a crazy vampire obsession when you were younger like I did? Or have you read it more recently? I, I know LJ Smith is much more well known for her The Vampire Diary series that was then obviously made for TV. Um, so I want to know if any of you have read this series instead because this I believe came first before she wrote Vampire Diaries. Um, and I would love to, to chat and enthuse about it. I don't have much bad to say. I don't have anything really bad to say about this. Um, if you like romance and maybe an element of insta-love because of the whole soulmate thing, although there's not really insta-love in this first one because they've known each other their whole lives and Poppy has kind of been in love with James for a very long time. I do know in the other books there is more of an element of like instant a love and attraction because of the whole soulmate thing. So if you are interested in romance and supernatural and things like that, I would really recommend this series. Um, but overall I don't really have too much negative things to say about it. I think the characters were well developed and I think for such a short story I think it was handled really well. So yeah, so let me know if you've read anything about this series and I'd love to have a chat with you in the comments. So. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.